Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we will talk about what if we are reading more than one file and if you wanted to get the count of each of these files, how we can get it, okay? Because when we have a similar type of files, generally we give the path to the directory, okay? So in this example, as you can see, this the first command is basically for the SPN access so that I can read the data from my ADLS. The second is again, I'm importing something and I'm creating a source data location where I have all the files present, see? Now, the third is basically I'm showing you the files which are present using the fsls command, okay? File system command. Now, I wanted to get the count of each of these files. So if you see here, if I wanted to read all these files, they all are having same kind of schema, right? So how basically I will read it. I can simply use spark dot read dot format. Then load and I can pass the path. Okay. In addition to this, I can also say option header equal to let's try to run it okay so this way i can read this entire code and let's save it and i want you to see the count i have used very small files just for the demonstration purpose okay but in the real environment you will be having the files which have so many records so if you see i have only 35 records out of these five files i will tell you guys just for your information the first three files contain 10 10 records the fourth file contain the one record only the fifth file contain the four records basically so i wanted to basically get this data Right. I wanted to see each of these files contains how many records. Okay. So for this one, I can use one function input file name. So how to use it? Let's see. DF dot. I will create one column. Let's say file name. Okay. And I will say use input input file name function. This is from PySpar C equal function. Okay. And let's save it as a data frame only. And then what I will do, I'll display this data frame as well. Just to show you guys like how it will store the file information. So if you see the file information is stored, right? Two, three, one, five, four, right? Now I wanted to get the count of it. So what I can do, I can simply use group, right? So df dot group by, and inside group by, I will say group by based on this file names, right? Sorry, file names. And then I can simply use count function. Okay, and let's display it in a single comma by to use another line. So if you see here, one, two, three, these three CSVs has 10, 10 records, four CSV has one record and the fifth CSV has four records. So this is how, why, <clears throat> sorry, this is how you can get the count of for each of these files. So I hope this video will be helpful for you guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.